Hi everyone, my name is Eric Jensen. I'm the TA for NR323 Remote Sensing. And I've created this video to help you to get set up with remote desktop so that you can transition smoothly to being online, which we are going to for the rest of the semester. Setting up remote desktop can be a little bit complicated. And so I've created this video to try to help to simplify that process for you and to really help you go step by step through the, the steps that are necessary for getting set up. Now, once you are set up, it's really very easy to get logged in each time. And I'll demonstrate that at the end of this video. So I've created this PowerPoint to help us walk through it. In, it includes a number of links that will be helpful for you. And I'll be sure and upload this to Canvas. If you are not part of NR323, please just contact me with this contact information here if you need access to this PowerPoint and I can get you a copy of that. So it's gonna be a three-step process for getting set up with remote desktop. The first is that you're going to need to uh, set up Pulse Secure on your computer. And Pulse Secure is going to be where you're going to sign in with your EID and ePassword on your computer to get into uh, the CSU network. The second step is going to be Duo Mobile. Duo Mobile is a program that you're going to install on your phone. And so once you sign into the network through Pulse Secure, you're going to link that to Duo Mobile and you're going to get a notification on your phone that you're going to approve and then you'll be into the CSU network. And so that's what's called two-factor authentication. And I'll be describing that in a little bit more detail later in this video. Once you're into the CSU network, then you're going to use a remote desktop app to access the remote computer lab. And so I'm going to describe what that will look like for both Windows and for a Mac. So installing Pulse Secure will look a little bit different depending on which operating system you use. And so I've included links here for Windows, Mac, and Chromebook. The uh, Windows setup is the setup that I'll be describing in detail here because that's what I use. I have a Windows machine. However, it should be a similar set of steps if you're uh, on a Mac using iOS. For Chromebook users, I'm unfamiliar with the Pulse Secure app for Chromebook. And so it might require a little bit more um, work on your own or uh, reaching out to Warner College IT to get help with that. If that's an issue, uh, let's communicate about that sooner rather than later. And uh, otherwise, I would encourage you, if it's available to you, to use a Windows or a Mac machine to get set up. So to install Pulse Secure, I'm, like I said, I'm gonna do this on my Windows machine here, but you're just gonna follow this link. So I'm gonna click on the link here. And so once I click that, it's going to open up in a browser window and I'm just going to save this installer to my desktop. And it has downloaded very quickly. So I'm going to click that. And this is just an installer that's going to get the program running for us. So here it's going to open up and I'm just going to click through and begin the installation. I'll approve that. And it's completed. So now that I've uh, finished that, I can click finish and I can find Pulse Secure down here in my, I don't know what they call this, but down here in the corner. And if I click this, I can open it up. I have CSU network already in here. I'm going to get rid of that so that uh, I can just show you, once you install it, this is exactly how yours will look. If you don't see Pulse Secure down here, you can also search for it here in the Windows search bar just by searching Pulse Secure and it'll be the same, the same thing. It'll open right up. So once we've installed Pulse Secure, we're ready for the next step in the process, which is 
setting up our Duo Mobile account and installing Duo Mobile on our phones. So the first thing that I'm going to do is uh, set up my Duo Mobile account through CSU. So I'm going to follow this link. And it's going to ask me for my EID and password. And once I click continue, it's going to bring me into an interface that looks like this. Yours may have a registered device, or you will need to add a registered device by clicking register device. Um, if you click register device, it's going to show you something like this. You're going to want to populate these uh, fields in a way like I already have set up here. So if yours is showing up like this, then to edit this, you'll just click this modify. You can set your device name to anything you'd like. So you see I have mine set to Eric Cell. And then you're going to want to input your phone number. And you're going to want it to look exactly like this. So I have a one in front of my phone number. And so I'm going to delete that. And so I just want it to be all a 10 digit number. And that's what I have here. I don't have an extension to submit. And for type, you're going to want this to be Duo Mobile App. And for platform, you're going to select whatever the platform is for your phone. So if you have any sort of Android phone, like a Samsung Galaxy or an LG or a Motorola, a lot of those are, most of those are going to be Google Android. Of course, if you have an iPhone, it will be Apple iOS. And it's possible that you may have one of these other operating systems on your phone if you have something like a Windows phone. For mine, I have an Android. So I'm going to click Google Android. And I will click Update. The next step is I'm going to install the Duo Mobile Phone app. And then I'm going to uh, connect my Duo Mobile Phone app to the CSU Duo account that I just set up. So I want to show you how to set up Duo Mobile on your phone. I'm uh, going to want to install the app. And so I'm going to go to the Android Play Store or the Google Play Store. And you're going to want to search for uh, Duo Mobile and Mine has come up and it's loading and it'll look like this. It'll have this green app uh, logo that says Duo and I'm going to install. So now it's installed and I'm gonna click open. And it's gonna open up. And I'm going to uh, want to click get started. And I'm gonna to wanna to allow it to use my camera because it's going to use a QR code that we're going to use to connect to the computer. So now you can see my camera activated. So you may already be seeing a QR code, I'm not. So in order to tie it to my account, I'm going to have to click this reactivate link under action. And that's going to bring up my QR code. So my phone is now looking for a barcode. And so I'm going to bring it over. And as soon as it sees that QR code, it's going to start adding my account. And then you can see it now has connected the Duo app to uh, my account. So we are on to, um, so we're, we're now finished with installing Pulse Secure and Duo Mobile and setting up our Duo account. And so next we're going to move on to uh, talking about two-factor authentication, which is what's going to tie Pulse Secure and Duo together. And I think you'll see how that works in just a second. So I'm going to uh, escape out of the presentation and go to Pulse Secure. I'll close out of this so it's not distracting in the background. So I'm in Pulse Secure, and you can see it says no connections. So I'm going to want to add a connection. And here for the name, you can name it whatever you'd like. I'm going to call it CSU 
because it's going to be the CSU network that we're going to be logging into. And here you're just going to want to type in exactly as I am, HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash secure dot colostate dot edu forward slash 2fa. And you can click add. And you'll see that now CSU is showing up here as a network. And so now we can connect to that. So I'm going to click connect. And now I'm going to click uh, proceed to move forward. And here you're just going to want to log in with your EID and uh, e-password. So I'll type in mine and my password. With any luck, I typed that in correctly, and I will click Connect. So now you're going to have a few different options. I prefer to use Push, and what Push is going to do is it's going to send a notification to your phone. And so I'm going to click Push, and then click Connect. And so now is when you're going to want to watch your phone, because, and I'm not going to show this. Uh, because it's a little difficult to show, but it will send a request to your phone and you'll click on that on your phone and you just click approve and it's going to let you write in. And it says approved and you'll see this is all in real time. Now I am connected to the CSU network and so I'm, I'm in and now I can connect to the uh, CSU uh, any computer on uh, CSU's campus that I have credentials to get into, such as the lab cluster. I can connect to the N drive. Um, you're, you're kind of in at this point. So now the next step is going to be logging into uh, remote desktop. And I'll talk about that now. So now I'm going to show you how to log in to the remote computer lab using the remote desktop app on your computer. So for Windows, there's an app that already exists that we'll use, and I'll show you that in a minute. If you're on a Mac, you're going to need to install a separate app. And so that's going to be called Microsoft Remote Desktop 10. It's going to have this little red logo with the greater than and less than signs on it. And it's going to, uh, you're, you can get to that by following this direct link link. And you can get more help with using the app by following this link here. And if you have any trouble getting logged in, I think the steps will be mostly the same as I'll show on Windows. But if you do have any trouble getting logged in, please let me know. Um, I will try to help you. And otherwise, we can get you help from Warner College IT. And so that's the uh, setting up for Apple. And uh, here are the steps that we're going to use down below here uh, for getting set up, uh, regardless of whether we're on Windows or a Mac, um, we're going to use these same steps. So I'm going to show this. And so I'm going to escape out. I'm going to go to uh, an app called Window, or sorry, Remote Desktop Connection. And so you can see I have that down in my uh, toolbar down here, but you can get to it just by searching in the search bar, remote, and it'll pop up um, very quickly. And so you can click that. And you're going to want to type in this exact, uh, this exact phrase, lab cluster 16warnercnrcolostateedu And I'm going to click Connect. And then I'm, you're going to uh, want to type in your EID, if that pops in, and then your password. And you'll click OK. And now I am into one of the computers. So now you can see on the desktop, I have ArcMap, I have ArcGIS Pro, I have everything.
So now that we've gone through all of the steps that are involved with setting up remote desktop on your computer, I wanted to just really briefly show you what it's going to look like to get logged on to the CSU Warner College lab cluster each time. So to get started, you're going to want to open Pulse Secure. Then I'll see my uh, CSU network here. I'll click Connect. I'm going to proceed. It's already going to populate my EID, so I just need to type in my password. I will click Connect. And here's where I'm going to push uh, to, to type push. And it's going to send a push notification to my phone. And I've already received it. So I'm going to open that. And I'm clicking Approve on my phone right now. And it should update on the computer here in just a second. And now I'm into the network. So now all I need to do is go open my remote desktop uh, app. It already has lab, the lab cluster populated here. I click Connect. I just need to type in my password at this point again to get into the computer. OK, and now I'm in. So you can see just how easy it is to get in once you're set up. It took me, I think, what, 30 seconds or so to get in. So that's the end of uh, this demo. And uh, I hope this has been helpful for you. And uh, please feel free to let me know if you have any questions. Thanks. So now we've gone all the way through setting up the remote desktop connection, and hopefully you're all set up. Uh, if you do have additional questions, there is uh, a resources page that Warner College has set up. Um, I forgot to put that link in the slideshow before this, but when I share this out, I will be sure to include that link so you can uh, go to that. To reach out to Warner College IT directly, you can use this email address. Uh, just know that they are under a lot of uh, demand right now. Um, as you can imagine, moving all of the courses online over the span of less than two weeks is a huge effort. And so please be courteous to them. And I would even encourage you to contact me uh, before contacting them. And then if I can't help your issue, uh, we'll take it to them and try to get you the help you need. Um, and so as far as me helping you, um, if you are, that stands for uh, people in remote sensing. If you're in another course, please contact your TA or your professor and they will help you. Uh, for folks in remote sensing, I'll be scheduling uh, web meetings for one-on-one -on -one help uh, during our first week back. So sometime between, uh, let's say March 25th and our first lab, March 30th, because I really want to get everyone set up before that March 30th meeting. And so that's my highest priority, so I really want to help you. So please let me know if you have any trouble. Um, I will be reaching out to you more directly to see how I can help as well, but I hope this video is helpful. And uh, yeah, good luck.